So welcome to another uh, live stream performance uh, sponsored by the Pacific Bluegrass and Old Time Music, Music Society in Vancouver, BC. Tonight we are thrilled to present uh, Craig Young and Rhonda Shippey coming to us live from Fernie, BC with a session of great tunes. Looking forward to this very much and um, they will take it away. Thanks a lot for joining us guys. I think that's what we thought of as was schnitzeling. Yeah, that's yeah. what schnitzeling is. <laughs> yeah, well, don't worry. maybe I'll get to that song before the show is over, but I'll remember the words. I just, it was like a section of my brain. It's still in my uh, teaching room, I think. All right, so uh, I'm a big Merle Haggard fan. This next song is a, is a Merle Haggard song and it's pretty, uh, Guitar picky and a she, I guess. In the key of A. In the key of A. One of the rare ones I do in the key of A. <laughs> this is called the Working Man Blues. It's a big job getting by with nine kids and a wife. 
Well, I've been a working man Dang near all my life to keep on working As long as my two hands are fit to use I might drink a little beer in a tavern And I'll sing a little bit of these working man On the weekend after I draw my pay and I go back working. Monday morning I'm right back with the crew. I might drink a little beer in the tavern, sing a little bit of these working man too. There's time to think about leaving, do a little bum and around, throw my bells out the window, catch a train to another town, and go back work. Gotta buy this kid a brand new pair of shoes. I buy, drink a little beer in the tavern, sing a little bit of these working man. Just, just so you guys know, because since you can't see all the faces, there's, uh, there's 55 uh, people watching right now. I know it's hard for you to see all of them at the same time. Uh, Thank you. Hi, Kathy. I saw you pop up. So many friends. Feels like people. A night out with people. All right. Carry all right. on. Carry on. We're going to do a uh, Word Lightfoot song. Big fan of Gordon Lightfoot. Uh, this is a, a winter song, so it's a song for winter's night. Cool. Laugh is burning low upon my tabletop. Silence of my room. I hear your voice softly calling. If I could only have you near, you'd be silent Would be happy just to hold the hands I love on this winter night with you. Almost empty. I read again, Queen of 
remains upon the page Words of love you sent me If I even know it in your heart You were lonely too I'd be happy to hold the hands I love Dying now, my life is going dim. Outside the night, it's a living. Morning light creeps across my window pane. With the snow, they lay glistening. If I could know within my heart. I thought I heard someone come in there late on their mic. Did you hear that? Yeah. yeah. And you know what? It made me think everybody should have their mics turned on. It would remind me of playing in the bars, you know, mm -hmm. you just hear everybody talking all at once. <laughs> and that would make me just feel like COVID didn't exist or something. Mm -hmm. It'd be like almost like playing in a bar, but not quite. not quite. Maybe it's not a good idea. Keep all your mics on. <laughs> so do you want an obnoxious drunk? Is, is that what you're saying? <laughs> is that you? That's hey, me. Yeah. That's you guys like little. Yeah, yeah, I know you. Hey, hey, Craig. Hey, well, I'm there. <laughs> you, you, I remember very well. It's wonderful to see you. You played a good version of Tallahassee. Yeah. All right, we're gonna do. A, this is a Graham Parsons song we got here next. I know that's not your normal bluegrass thing, but I got it all kind of bluegrass stuff. So <laughs> from the guitar point of view, anyway. It's called Luxury Liner. I got it off of Amy Lou Harris album, and it happened to have my favorite guitar player of all, Albert Lee, Telecaster playing, playing on it. So I decided I'd play it. Luxury liner, 
what's on my mind. That you can't live in your mistakes, but I'm still back there living in that. Yeah. That was way back in, in G, D territory. This is a, uh, Tony Rice said that this was a Charlie Monroe tune. I thought it was a traditional song, but I'm going to go with Tony. Uh, him and Norman recorded it, Norman Blake. Yeah. We both learned this from uh, Tony and Norman recording duet album. It's a great album. This is called I'm Coming Back But I Don't Know When. One, two, three. And we're in the, 
banjo, a banjo key, although Bluegrass Album Band recorded this in B, yes? Something like that, B I, or B flat. Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember now. So we're going to play you some, some big spike hammer. <coughs> okay. Is it Osborne Brothers? Yeah. find the right chords. <laughs> <laughs> you, can just, you can just play them all. Yeah, no, it sounds great. Good. Thanks, Bob. Good to see you. We'll see you, you again. Too. You We're too. All, our Alberta friends. This is called uh, Maggie's Mandolin. Uh, yeah, I wrote this song uh, to a friend of mine from Alberta a long time ago now. He used to have this really old mandolin. It was uh, like a a Gibson A style kind of mandolin. Like a bowl back? No, no, just a, but like with a sound hole, you know, like so like one of those really like, I think it was one of those ones they made before you really got onto the Fs, but uh, they had, a, it had a sound hole. I think it was a 20s, 1920s something. They're not that valuable, but he loved it and he carried it with him. He used always to have it with him. And I finally, I asked it, what is the story behind your mandolin? And he said it used to belong to his grandmother. So 
Anyway, it, it prompted this song for me. It's called Maggie's Mandolin. <laughs> When I was a kid, we'd get together on those sweet Alberta summer days. Family and friends would come for supper and dance. They'd stay all night and play. The old folks would get to dancing like they were kids again. Shackled by forgotten words or bonds or anything. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. We're going to do it. I want to try it again. God damn it. So <laughs> no swearing. This is a non swearing show. This is a. Well, I know I could probably swear. Nobody would mind, but I'm saying it's a non swearing show. Okay. We're back to the key of D then. Okay. This is a John Hartford tune that I tried <laughs> to play at the beginning. <laughs> Okay, here we go. This is 
see if I can get past the first verse. Okay. It's knowing that your door is always open and your path is free to walk. And to make me leave my sleeping bag rolled up and stashed behind your couch. Shackled by forgotten words or bonds Or some ink stain that's dried upon some mind Keeps you moving through the back road By the rivers of my memory Keeps you ever gentle on my mind I'm not clinging to these rocks which I be planted on these columns now that bind me or something that somebody said because they thought we'd be together walking. It's just knowing that the world will not be cursing or forgiven if I walk along some railroad track and find that you're moving through the back road by the rivers of my memory. For I was your gentle on my mind. song it's an old lefty frizzell song but it's been done by bluegrassers all over it was done by irish bands and it was done by the band robbie robertson and the boys they did this tune as well on a record it's a great old song and Rhonda shippy here on the double bass without her i would fall down and just be pretty blah but uh <laughs> she's going to do a solo for you all in this song oh, so Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're in the gear of E. I know that's not easy. But sounds good. Well, ten years ago, on a cold, dark night, someone was killed beneath the town hall line. But they all agreed to slay a round of law like me. Now the judge, he said, son, what is 
is your alibi. You were somewhere else. You won't have to die. I spoke not a word. Oh, it meant my life. For I've been in the arms of my best friend's wife. She walks these hills in a long black veil. She visits my grave in the night wind's way. Probably, yeah. So this is, uh, uh, I don't know, I, I think of him as Doc Watson, although I'm, I'm, I think uh, Tony Rice uh, did the first one, and Tony and Ricky on the, that album is probably the most famous version. More Pretty Girls than one, and I do the Beaumont Rag. In the key of C. So yeah, everybody's like, I, now they're... Key of C. That's where Doc recorded it. Uh, the Volma in key of C. Uh, yeah. That's kind of where I learned it, so I never really bothered playing it in D. Here we go. <laughs> Sweet young wife, but 
there's more pretty girls than one. There's more pretty girls than one. Any old town I ramble all around, and there's more pretty girls than one. Slowed you down one bit. <laughs> no, we we still have fiddle tunes for breakfast. Just yeah. you know. Yeah, just it's pretty lonesome, but yeah. <laughs> I think Rhonda's pretty bored at this point. To be honest with you. No. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm pretty sure no, about I'm it. I'm just trying to keep up. We got one more for this bit, and then we're going to do, or do we have two more? Uh, 25 after maybe, maybe I don't know we could do one more some jam yeah for this bit then we're going to play some jammy songs so mm. give you guys a chance to play over some things this is a song written by a guy named Corby Linker and also uh, Molly Tuttle she wrote this one uh, it's called a friend and a friend <laughs> I said, 
sit out long ago Never gave a thought to all the rogue and robbers on the road If I had a chance, you know I had to take it And it was the longest time I spent a string of lonely nights in the back of Fort Connell 9 Wake up feeling low Get behind the wheel and go Some days it's wide open Some days it's a dead end Some days it feels like I'm walking on the wild west end Got a big dream A worn out D18 All I need is a friend And a friend and another friend take a break over it and then he would play rhythm for the other breaks and everybody could join in yeah and the first one is in the key of e <laughs> it was recorded in the key of e um, by uh, lester and uh i think flatten scrubs and also by tony did it in e as well and that's kind of where i could never do it any higher than that so it's called i wonder where you are tonight and that's what I say as I look at the screen. <laughs> I wonder where you are tonight. Where it is. The, the song we did just before that uh, was called A Friend and a Friend. And I first heard it from Molly Toto. She recorded it as well. But, but it's, uh, it's a co-write with Corby yeah, Linker. Yeah, this guy named Corby Linker was like super cool dude. And, he, and he's got a version that goes like, friend and a friend and another friend. And if you don't like it, well, that's because, you know, I don't know. Yeah. For me, it just, it just totally grabbed me. It was like, wow, I heard that before I heard Molly Tuttle do it. Mm. Yeah. So I guess that's why. It all depends on how you're introduced to something, for sure. All right. I wonder where you are tonight. TV. This is a good tempo. Here we go. Tonight, I 
said my heart is weary Wondering if I'm wrong or right To dream about you though you left me I wonder where you are tonight That old rain is cold and slowly falling Upon my window pane tonight And though your love is growing colder I wonder where you are tonight I've died a million times, my darling, since the day you went away. It's watching, waiting, hoping, praying. You'll return to me someday. That old rain is cold and slowly falling upon my window pane tonight. Let's do another one. Here we go. If I could only make amends, dear, for all things that were not right, I wouldn't have to watch and worry and wonder where you are tonight. That old rain is cold and slowly falling upon my window pane tonight. I, could, I knew they were going on. I just knew it. Everybody, by the third time around, everybody had the key of E. Nailed it. Yeah. Ooh. So good so, to see you guys. I got to head out. Good to see uh, you, Rhonda uh, and Craig. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I felt like you were in the living room. <laughs> were you playing a lot? You were playing a lot. You had some breaks going on that song. You are working on the key of E. Yeah. With my air mandolin here. Oh, <laughs> yeah. you got yeah. Okay, <laughs> bye. You know, we're back to the Osborne brothers. Yeah, Kia D. Kia D. And I think they actually recorded it in this key, but I'm singing at an octave lower. And uh, yeah, I think I learned, I don't know which harmony, I learned both harmony parts. One's too low and one's almost too low. <laughs> but I did not know this as an Osborne brothers song. 
uh, first. I learned it from a country music band called the Desert Rose Band. Mm -hmm. Chris Hillman, Herb Peterson did it uh, on that record, their first album, and it was so good. And then uh, later, I was lucky enough to play the Grand Ole Opry many, many times, really, and got to see Sonny and Bobby play this song for real on there, which was just blew my mind. Yeah. So here we go. This is called Once More. <laughs> like that one yeah and you're yeah. still there wow you must not have anything to do <laughs> come on no i'm just waiting for my next tune i'm going to mess up so sharply yeah that's what he's waiting on red hair boy yeah um yeah. you got your uh, yeah let's do the red hair boy okay. in uh, newfoundland this is called the little beggar man yeah there you go there you go yeah little beggar man <laughs> yeah The little beggar man, the AKA the red hair boy. Thank you. 
How about you sing one? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Key key of G, hold what you got. Only two verses. I've got a 50-50 chance of remembering them. <laughs> Can you say bored out of your mind? No. Michael. <laughs> Hold what you got. Are you kicking this? Yeah, yeah, I can kick this. Good. I was just yeah. pushing, pushing a little. Let's see if I remember this one. Well, a hundred years. I'm just going to break into singing. So this is in D. Again, I got this off of a flat and scrubs. I think they did it in E though. So I'm making it a little bit easier on you, doing it in D, not E. Right. And you're Wrong. just going to kick right into it. Yeah, I'll just sing it, and it's just a pretty straight uh, bluegrass song. For those who, who know it, they all realize it. We'll do lots of break. <laughs> Broke every vow. I don't care. 
you can trump down. Well, yesterday, sweetheart, you went and told me couldn't live without my love somehow. But that's all in the past, dear. It wasn't meant to last. But I won't care a hundred years from now. Well, a hundred years from now, I won't be crying. A hundred years from now, I won't be blue. My heart will have forgotten. You broke every bound. I won't care a hundred years from now. All right. instrumental we we could play whiskey for breakfast i know everybody knows that one and i see that guy was just doing it the way I, <laughs> i'm out it's, it's really it's really far before breakfast yeah i i, I had some but yeah gone. either whiskey for breakfast. we haven't done a yeah. fiddle tune in d yet yeah so yeah, let's do that yeah we'll keep her maybe a medium tempo <laughs>
other things here. We could do. Well, let's do the other one that you sing. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Three verses this time. So I have like, I don't know, still a 50 50 chance of getting them all. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for it in the key of C this time. And it's just, it's purely straight up bluegrass. So. What's it called, though? Sweetheart, you done me wrong. Sweetheart, you done me wrong. Right. I learned it from Doyle Lawson in Quicksilver. You want to kick it? Yeah, that's, this is rolling around in there somewhere. Uh, I mean, we could, it's probably time to wrap up. Do you want to do one more? Or do you want to wrap it up? Do you want to say schnitzel things? <laughs> no schnitzel. No, no. Okay. Do you want to wrap it up with the gold rush? Yeah. One more instrumental? Or do you want to wrap it? Gold rush! 
<laughs> All right. I knew I could use some money. The gold vigor rush. What, medium, medium tempo-ish? Yeah. Wow. You're so welcome, Charles. Okay. What, what is a good tempo? Medium, what's a good medium tempo? Good for a minute and uh, give her a cheer. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Sound like we're in a bar. All right. All right. That was awesome. awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. That was really a treat. Um, so great. You guys sound amazing. Can't wait to hear you again hopefully in person yeah. thanks to everyone in the audience for joining us and uh, just one more plug you can find the link to um Craig's paypal in the email and in the chat here so you can send them some love that way if you are inclined thanks so much take it easy thank you thank you kindly take care